sure we all know of Rocket Raccoon. Why wouldn't you? He's really awesome. Love him. But what about some of the other less known furry comic book characters? I'm Shadow Raccoon. Let's take a look. Chances are you won't know of these characters. Well, some of you might, but let's face it, they won't be getting their own 10 year mega franchises and they probably won't be appearing in one of the highest grossing movies of all time. Still, they are furry and I think they deserve some mention for once. Did you know Rocket Raccoon has a girlfriend? Wait, what? Really? Um, I'm not gonna lie, some of the artwork online, uh, I find that very hard to believe. Well, it must be a very, very open relationship. Let's say that. But yes, it is true, he does have a girlfriend. Her name is Lila, and she is from the planet Halfworld, and she's the heiress of a massive toy company. So, she first appeared in the Incredible Hulk comics uh, in 1982, and yeah, um, this is an author that really knows how to kick butt. Um, you know, she was involved in quite a lot of battles. Uh, probably the most notable one is the Battle of Toy World, where she takes on Jake Judson, a business rival who's out to kill her and try and take over her business. And she has lots of fighting there. Um, again, she doesn't tend to appear much beyond the Incredible Hulk comics and obviously the Rocket Raccoon comics, which is a shame because I think we could all agree that Everyone likes the idea of an ass-kicking otter. Um, but yeah, um, I don't think I'd be complaining if she joins the Guardians of the Galaxy 3. There's certainly some room there for her, and I can sure see why Rocket is a fan of her. Hoppy the Marvel Bunny is a super-powered rabbit who was made in 1942 by Fawcett Comics. He originally was made as a spin-off from their comic book series, Captain Marvel, but that's no relation to Marvel as we know it now. Fawcett Comics was bought out by DC Comics, now making Happy part of the DC Universe, and of course, also making Captain Marvel part of the DC Universe, which then had to turn his name into Shazam. No, not the uh, music streaming app. Happy comes from the planet of anthropomorphized animals, and it has very similar powers to Shazam, after he realized that he could get those powers by just saying Shazam. Interesting idea, to be honest with you. He also has an enemy called Captain Black Bunny, who has one of the coolest names in comic book history, is my personal opinion. Hoppy's return to any meteor for any reason, really, has been teased multiple times and little bits and pieces, but I would like to see him back again. He looks like a really interesting character. And, uh, well, with Shazam doing so well in the box office, let's be hoping that we might see him in the next film. Please, I want to see him. Ace the Bat Hound is a German Shepherd dog and certified good boy found by Batman and Robin after his master was kidnapped by a gang of evil counterfeiters. First appearing in 1955, this lovable mutt was taken in by Bruce Wayne and given a special little bat hood for his little dog head that helped mask his identity so that he could go along and fight crime with Batman and Robin and take on supervillains and I assume get lots of like belly rubs and lots of fun doggo things. Um, and yeah, um, he made quite a few appearances in future comics and even appeared in a couple of the Batman cartoon series. So he's one of the few characters on this list that actually appeared in animation. And he was voiced, of course, by Frank Welker in that. Not sure about you guys, but I think that this lovable mutt could have easily made an appearance in one of the Christopher Nolan movies. It certainly would have livened them up. Am I right? So now we move on to Captain Carrot himself. Uh, first seen in 1982 in a Teen Titans comic, um, he, well, <laughs> what can I say? He travels the universe with his crew of anthropomorphized animals, including a turtle, a cat, and a duck. Well, you know, it's diverse, I suppose. So, Captain Carrot's enemies. These sound amazing. 
So you've got Dr. Hoot, an owl who uses machinery to cause crimes. And my personal favorite, I'm sorry I can't stop myself, Cold Turkey. Best name for a bad guy ever who uses weather to defeat his enemies. Why is this not a film? This sounds amazing. This could be DC's rival to Guardians, definitely. Sadly, this was a short run universe and only ran to 20 issues. Uh, but there has been a little bit of hope. There was a comic in 2007 uh, and uh, they were seen in the background in a robot chicken sketch. Not the most compelling idea for, you know, them coming back, but, you know, I'm hoping, you know, if, if Hoppy's coming back, this would be cool too. It'd be hot. Deadpool had a dog? It happened. Yes, the, uh, the Deadpool had a dog somehow. Um, basically, it was an ordinary dog who was in an animal testing facility and he was given a lipstick, which um, was supposed to be self-replenishing. Unfortunately, it didn't quite work and the dog developed the same powers that Deadpool has where he kind of regenerates. Um, escaping the testing facility, the dog found his way to a circus where he became the star of the show. And yeah, it was there that Deadpool discovered him and was very quickly recruited into the Deadpool corps. Sadly, this character was really short-lived and whilst he did feature in quite a few episodes of Deadpool, he was um, killed off in a 2013 comic called Deadpool vs. Deadpool. That's a little sad because I like the idea of a dog Deadpool, you know. And, you know, I, I think he could make a great sidekick for Ryan Reynolds in the movies. So maybe you don't agree. And then maybe that's why they got rid of him. Still, always a shame. And I guess they might bring back Deadpool Dog. So if you thought that Captain Carrot and Hoppy were fantastically named characters, you have seen nothing yet. So now we move on to Supergirl's cat, Streaky the Super Cat. This is fantastic. Yeah. Created when Supergirl was trying to desperately stop Kryptonite from hurting her, she threw it out the window. Not the cat, the Kryptonite, which then the cat then found and it turned the cat into a superhero. Oh, I love comic books. Streaky was seen on and off through the 1960s for various storylines, but uh, did hold the coveted award as being along the rest of the legion of super pets made of, of guessing, <laughs> all the other Superman dogs, Batman dogs, uh, Wonder Woman's bird, I don't know, I won't lie, this is just crazy stuff. Streaky's time in the limelight did fade, well, quite significantly over time. She did appear in more recent times, but normally without her superpowers and suffered the humiliation in one storyline of being rescued from a tree by Supergirl, which I'm sure really held her dignity after having all these superpowers. Streaky has appeared all the way up until 2017 of all things, so it is a possibility that we might see Streaky in a film. And I'm not gonna lie, this cat definitely has more than nine lives. So there we go, that was some furry comic book characters. And yeah, I mean, for myself, I've not heard of any of these guys really. Maybe one or two before I actually started researching this video, so even for me it was great. If I've got some stuff wrong, or you know more about the characters, or even there's a furry character that you know of, please drop their name in the comments below and let me know, I'd love to see what you say. But yeah, I mean, I think maybe Marvel, or DC, or anyone needs to kind of focus on turning some of these characters, I think, into movies, because we need more furry comic book movies, let's face it. Rocket Raccoon and the Guardians is not enough. Might be biased there. Still, thanks for watching this week's video. If you enjoyed it, click the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, or consider supporting me on Patreon. I've got a link in the description below. I'm Shadow Raccoon, and I'll see you next week. Bye!